Has someone ever challenged you to something that they didn't know who are an expert at? If so, how did it turn out for you forward slash them? I'm really good at archery. My friend and I rented him a bow at the local range and he wanted to bet me beers for every round. I told him repeatedly no, you will not win. He could probably get lucky if we did one arrow shoot offs but he wanted to do proper three arrow rounds. He insisted. I drank for free all night. A neighbor on my block in Brooklyn challenged me to a pizza bake-off. I recently catered pizza for my daughter's school and word got around the neighborhood my pizza was pretty darn good. My first thought was, this guy is a Brooklyn native, my pizza will be shite compared to his. But there was something about him bragging that I couldn't resist the challenge. He talked up how pizza was in his blood, how his dad ran the pizza place around the corner years ago. I remained silent and let my skills answer for themselves. I got a buddy to let us use one of Baker's pride ovens at his restaurant. We even had total strangers try our pizzas. Every last person chose my pizza over his. I never mentioned to him that I've worked in pizza places almost every day for the last 30 years. I never mentioned that when I'm not working at a pizza place I'm making pizzas at home at least once every two days. I never mentioned that at nine years old I knew that I wanted to be a pizza man. Here I am 45 and getting ready to start my own pizza business. It wasn't me, but there's a story about an old geotechnical engineer who used to work for the company I worked for. Several senior staff had to attend a meeting with the client, and some government regulatory staff who were being awkward and not approving the design. This geotech guy is pretty much quiet the whole meeting. Throughout the discussion, the government guy keeps referencing this research document and shooting down anything anybody suggests. Near the end of the meeting, Geotech asks government guy if he has the research paper with him. He responds yes and places it on the table. Geotech asks government guy who is the author of the paper, then slides over a business card. Turns out it's Geotech's own paper that government guy has been referencing to defend his argument. Government guy went bright red and apparently approved the design the same day. Some Japanese client that studied in France asked me for a translation job but wanted to change all my sentences to prove she was better than me at my own mother tongue. She ended up writing something grammatically correct but that sounded so horribly sexual that if you tried and googled the terms you would only find porn and erotic novels. I had to tell my boss she was forcing me to write porn because it was for a mascara brand that was supposed to be sold in France, so he could stop her and after that she stopped trying to best me. A local mall had a portable climbing wall with a make it to the top and win, $100, side. The route was actually pretty challenging. As I walked by the guy asked me if he'd like to try nobody has made it to the top, you think you can do it buddy at the time I was ranked top 12 climber in my age group and kind of laughed to myself. After taking my $100 I then proceeded to call the rest of my climbing team and one by one they went to the mall and claimed their $100. After the fourth person they guy got suspicious and took the sign down. We later told him we were all nationally ranked competition climbers and he got a good laugh. The company who owned the rentals was the one who lost the money, he just worked the booth and wasn't the one who lost the prize money. My landlord tried blaming me for damage to the kitchen cabinets but didn't know that I'm in construction and I'm very familiar with home building codes. They placed the cabinets too close to the stove and the glue that held the laminate had melted. When working as a teacher I beat a lot of students in Pokemon battles because they didn't think of me being like 15 years ahead of them in fighting experience. News. I was a competitive swimmer for 14 years, including 4 years of NCA, but I'm on the shorter side so people don't assume I was any good. I was at a friend's house on a lake one summer, and a macho guy challenged me to race to a buoy in the middle of the lake, to prove, something, I guess, the lake is deceptively large, about a half mile across. So I warned him that if he isn't a strong swimmer it could be dangerous. He was running out of gas after about two minutes. So I offered to let him off the hook, but he insisted he would finish. I went to the buoy and was swimming back when I found him floundering. So I 
Lifeguard swam him back to the house. His ego took a deserved hit that day. Don't get cocky around water, even if you think you're a strong swimmer. Edit. Thanks a ton for the W and the votes. But I want to emphasize here how quickly this kind of thing can turn dangerous. I was a lifeguard at the time, and there was another lifeguard present. But even so this was a dumb idea. Don't do dumb stuff in water. A Tinder date bet me dinner that I couldn't beat her in some mush. I've been playing competitively for around six years, so she ended up paying for dinner. My wife and I were taking an evening cruise for adults in Portsmouth Bay. The ship drove around the shipyard, where my submarine and several others were stationed. My wife and I are having a quiet drink when a really loud no it all starts spouting misinformation about each submarine we are driving by, calling them all the wrong class, wrong names, etc. When he literally points to my submarine and says and that is a 637 class, my wife finally speaks up and says actually that is a 688. The guy gets all gruff and says well how would you know? My wife smiles, hugs my arm and says sweetly that's my husband's submarine. It is the Minneapolis St. Paul, SNN 708. He turned beet red while his date laughed. Not me but my brother and best friend. We were in Baltimore for a baseball weekend in 2009 and hanging out at a bar across from Camden Yards. They had a silver strike bowling video game. At our local bar back in Boston we had one as well. I'm decent at the game but my brother and buddy were fucking amazing at this game. Bowling 300 games and whatnot. So two dudes are playing this game and drinking. We ask them if we can play when they've done. They ask if we want to play them. We said sure. My brother and buddy destroy these guys, like it wasn't even close. These dudes said it was a fluke and they wanted a rematch but this time for a round of beers. Again, Annihilation City, but they kept wanting to play, to eventually win a game. No lie, after 13 rounds of beers they finally gave up. They were great guys. We saw them the next day at the same bar and they walked up to us with beers in hand already and said rematch. To this day we still hang out with them whenever we go to Baltimore, and to this day, they have never won. Edit for details. The guys were buying two beers each time they lost a game to the two guys they lost to, for my brother and friend. The beers were Natty Bo, which is Baltimore's cheap gross awesome beer. I can't remember the price, but they were under two bucks a piece back then. They would buy the beers and they'd just start piling up on the table next to the machine so we were all just drinking them. It'd say around 25 to 30 beers between the five of us in four or five hours. Tad was probably six zero-ish bucks for beers but we were there all night getting wings and a million ats so we all just paid the tab anyways. I'm not a great swimmer but there was a time when I would do lats for literally hours. I would go slowly to make sure that I had the energy to do the time I wanted to. This kid challenged me to race. I left him so far behind it was funny, he though he was about to humiliate me in front of his friends. My nephew challenged me to Super Smash Bros Ultimate once. Once. Company worker minus him pretty good at running. I run every day. I could probably beat you in a marathon. They didn't know I used to be a pro runner. Ran under 14 minutes in the 5k, sub 29 in the 10k, and under 15 hours for 100 miles on trails. Won a national title even. So I agreed to run with them and jumped in the local marathon with no training. I took the prize purse and made myself a few hundred bucks and took everyone out for beers with it. Was an interesting next Monday at work. Still waiting to say the words I've been preparing for all my life. You want to play Dr. Mario with me, you absolute fool. I'm a teacher so people try to tell me how to do my job all the time. Parents, kids, politicians, etc. How'd it turn out? Welcome to my world, fuckers. Homeschooling is a bitch, isn't it? Your kids are kind of horrible, aren't they? Lessons aren't that easy to plan, are they? Meanwhile... I'm drinking a beer at 1-0 and while grading the assignments I posted last week. Edit. Wow this blew up haha. Thank you everyone for the 
positive comments and gold forward slash silver. Cleaning some things up. I'm not actually drinking a beer at 1-0 am. That's clearly for this afternoon. It is dying this day. Parents. This was meant to be satirical. Please do not think for a second that we as teachers do not appreciate and sympathize with you all during this ordeal. Especially those who are working still. Just graduated as a teacher and have been working as a casual relief teacher. I play lacrosse which is a small sport already and even smaller here in Australia. I tried out for the last World Cup team and made it to the final cut. I was team teaching with another teacher who worked at the school. Before the period he spoke to me and said hey mate, we are doing lacrosse today. It's a bit of an odd sport and hard to teach so just wait over there and then you can just help with supervision and discipline. Then walked off. Being a CRT from an agency didn't really know how to speak to him forward slash speak up. I tried to speak to him and say that I played but he didn't give me a second so I just listened and did my thing. Few minutes into the start of the lesson I grabbed a stick and ball and just started to work my around the class giving them pointers and hints. The way he was teaching was completely incorrect and I didn't want to say anything so when the kids broke off into groups I kinda just taught them correctly. He pulled me over at a drinks break and asked how I knew so much forward slash good perform the skills. I told him how I play lacrosse and my playing history. He asked why I didn't speak up and say anything and I said I tried to tell him. Anyway, I ended up running the rest of the class and even ended up sitting down with him and going through the correct and easier way to teach the game and skills. Subscribe, like and comment if you hate outros begging you to subscribe, like and comment.